Yeah. Five years ago, when Susan was busy preparing for her KCSE examinations, a practical session in chemistry scarred her for life. I don't remember the chemicals, but it's just blue, and then my face was there, and then my eye got burned. That time they couldn't do much because I was sitting for one week sitting for my exams. But this car clouded her vision of life, quite literally. I just see milkish and I can't see far. I see here when you just do like this, I can't see, but I cannot see. But not for long. Shortly after this interview, Susan was being wheeled in for a historic moment in her life and in Kenya's field of transplant medicine. Stem cell transplant technology was not very well accepted all over the world. But in the last few years, the results of stem cells have become excellent. Stem cells are small pieces. Now, how we are going to stick pieces on the cornea? We can't suture them. So the, the tissue glue has made dramatic changes. We are going to remove the stem cells here. This is the first eye surgery to use stem cells. There is a membrane here which is known as conjunctiva. Now, when there is a junction between cornea and conjunctiva, that is known as the limbus. That is where stem cells are present. Function of the stem cell is to give nutrition to the cornea, maintain the transparency of the cornea, and maintain the lubrication of the cornea. You got a very special glue. This glue will stick the stem cells on the cornea, and then it will be covered by a very special membrane which is known as amniotic membrane. Amniotic membrane is from the placenta, placenta. Going into the surgery, Susan is hoping for just one thing. OK, I want to see again. We have, we have got thousands of stem cells in the eye. So we are going to take only 100 stem cells from the opposite side. In many other countries, stem cells have changed the practice of medicine. This corneal surgery is going to use stem cells from the good eye transplanted into the injured eye, hoping to restore vision. The follow-up is very important. And of course, we'll be giving her antibiotic and steroid to prevent any kind of rejection. Dr. Joshi is a cataract and cornea specialist practicing for the last 40 years. Patients are suitable for stem cell transplant as long as they are seeing the light means retina is functioning well. If retina is not functioning, patient is not seeing the light, then there is no point in doing stem cells. With an at least 70% success rate, the results of the two hours of surgery and a major milestone in Kenya will be seen in three to six weeks' time. Dr. Masikorir, Kitty News.